Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. In ancient architecture, large chevron blocks are not added to a structure for mere decoration, but they have a very specific practical purpose. They are added to protect chambers and corridors to prevent the roof from collapsing with the weight of the stone above. The Great Pyramid of Egypt has three known sets of chevron blocks. We find them directly above the Queen's Chamber, we find them above the relieving chambers of the King's Chamber, we find them set back and above the opening of the descending passageway on the north face of the pyramid. The Queen's Chamber chevron blocks directly overlay the Queen's Chamber and this means they are only there to protect this chamber. Unless of course there is an undiscovered level beneath the floor, which does seem unlikely because the floor was dug up by Giovanni Caviglia in the 19th century and nothing was found. The chevron blocks above the King's Chamber are different though, being elevated above a number of relieving chambers. This isn't just a design to mimic a jet pillar as many believe, it is constructional, planned by the architects and can only be to protect something more than the King's Chamber. This whole area is being protected, giving credence to the hypothesis that there are in fact more chambers to be found inside the Great Pyramid. The evidence for this, in my opinion, is now overwhelming. Structurally speaking, there is without doubt another opening into the King's Chamber, access through this block marked here. The evidence for which I've discussed many times over the past few years, including the fact that this one block is not load bearing. Micro gravimetry surveys back up the claims that there are voids behind the northern wall of the King's Chamber and this can be the only reason for the elevated chevron blocks. If these blocks were just to protect the king's chamber, they would be positioned directly above it, just as we see with the queen's chamber and the burial chamber in Khafre's pyramid. But here we can see they are raised higher, and this is to protect a much larger area. And that leads us to the final set of chevron blocks on the north face. We see two sets of chevrons, one directly above the other, but the fact we can see oblique stops in front of the entrance chevrons, situated on the left and the right marked here, is a clear indication that in the past, more chevron blocks were installed and they clearly are missing today. When you put the chevrons back into position, it's clear there was something like a chamber or lobby on the northern face. There could have been a visible opening, or these chevrons and the lobby could have been completely covered over with casing stones, maybe with a hinged stone opening. This little room, almost like a lobby, contained the entrance into the descending passageway, but structurally speaking, there is something that really doesn't make sense. In reality, there are too many chevrons to protect the small lobby and the early part of the descending passageway. They're not necessary, and I don't think the pyramid builders would go to the trouble of adding these large chevron blocks without good reason. The reason has already been discovered, thanks to cosmic muon scans by the Scan Pyramids project in 2016, and there is an undiscovered void behind them. If there is no void, the muon scan should have looked like this, but what we actually saw was this. Several studies were undertaken to validate the claims and scientists were able to rule out noise or anomalous results. This red section pointing to the south shows there is a significant void and researchers have a 99.9999% level of confidence. Here we can see it on a 3D model. The upper level of chevrons likely continues into the pyramid, forming the roof of this hidden passage and this stone was likely pushed against the northern wall like a blocking stone to stop access. The muon scan results of the entrance void were also confirmed by an infrared thermography scan which showed potential anomalies in exactly the place we would expect them to be, directly behind the blocking stone, right below the chevrons. So, just a simple study of the chevrons shows there has to be hidden chambers and passages in the Great Pyramid. 
This structural evidence, together with thermal anomalies, cosmic muon scans and microgravimetry surveys, shows that we are at the point where we know that this diagram of the Great Pyramid is very much incomplete. If Egyptian authorities want to make front page news around the world for their incredible heritage and history, if they want the tourists flocking back, all they need to do is look behind this blocking stone, reopen what I believe is the true main entrance into the Great Pyramid, and let the world see the true extent of the last surviving ancient wonder of the world. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.